What's up, Squall fans? Welcome back to Trash Talk. Back with me, Rocky Padilla, and today we have a special guest, all the way from Manila, one of the top rookies in the PVA right now, Jamie Malanzo. How are you doing, bro? What's up, bro? How are you? Thank you Thank- for having me. Thank you for doing this. Appreciate your time. I know you got a game in like four hours <laughs> after this, man. Yes, man, I've been in, I just found out that you're from Seattle. And of course, I'm in Seattle right now. And the people are so fucking friendly out here. And you are so friendly yeah, too, man. man. Can you talk about all these yeah, people man. in Seattle? <laughs> yeah, man. Seattle's a dope place. It's a beautiful city. Uh, fresh air and fresh nature <laughs> yeah <clears throat> i mean you got to be nice if you're breathing in a fresh chair like that so i mean yeah i love that's, it there man that's awesome. true. yeah that's true man that man Seattle is super beautiful too but you play for portland state for four years is it four years uh about three three so. years and then uh, you move and play uh you move to manila and you play for la salle how did that opportunity yep. opportunity come about to play for la salle Um, I was actually, I was getting recruited by like Danny Siegel and Banjo Albano mm. to go out there and play for LaSalle. It was sort of all around like my senior year, mm-hmm. you know, when I'm starting to figure out where I want to go. And yeah, I just figured it made more sense going to the Philippines, playing for the people, playing there for my mom instead of playing anywhere else in the, in the world. So just decided to make that, make that jump and go, go back home. Was there any culture shock though, when you go back home? first time uh most definitely honestly <laughs> i think like uh right when we got off the right when we got off the plane you know i'm seeing people riding in the back of cars and like <laughs> a whole bunch of shit that wouldn't be legal back in the day <laughs> so i was just like what, like what the fuck but <laughs> have you ever taken a jeepney i did one time my oh, cousin's shit. out here let me take it my cousin's let me take it one time Oh, If it wasn't for that, I probably wouldn't have it. <laughs> Where did you go? Um, so we went back home to like around their area up in QC. Oh, QC. And we're we were in a car, but they were like, nah, you gotta experience this. So we pulled over and we got out the car, a wave went down, and then <laughs> I was able to try it out. Oh man, but I bet now you can walk around Manila though. Everybody knows your name now and your face. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> but um, you went to La Salle and I, I actually stayed in Manila for three months. I was like, almost, I almost played in NCAA, but I had a lot of friends that played in the NCAA. Oh, yeah. And I was watching NCAA finals between Beda and Letron. And yeah. man, that Coneta Astrodome was like full. And I just want to ask yeah. your experience because you went through a big rivalry game between La Salle yeah. and Ateneo. Man, were you yeah. surprised, though, about the atmosphere and everything about the fans in Manila? To be honest, man, I really was. I tell people all the mm. time, you know, I, I played in, like, the the Portland Trailblazers arena before mm-hmm. with, like, thousands and thousands of people. And when I got to the Philippines and played that first very first game against Ateneo, La Salle versus mm-hmm. Ateneo, it was, like, It was like three times louder than anything I've ever experienced. So people were thick in there. It was live for sure. Was it in Moa or is it in Coneta? Araneta. Oh, Araneta. I say Coneta all the time. Yeah. It's Araneta. My bad. <laughs> yeah, I haven't been. Okay. I haven't been in Manila in for in forever. Right yeah, now. Yeah, man. You gotta come back. You gotta come back. <laughs> man, I, I'm trying to come back, man, and watch you play in the future. But um, for sure. of course, everybody know. Uh, you dunk <laughs> on 30 Rafana. It was everywhere. And I just want to know, how was that out-of-body experience? And what was you saying, though, to 30? <laughs> And 30, my boy. Shout out to my Bro, boy, 30 everybody. in Japan. <laughs> Shout out, 30. Uh, I don't know what I said. I blacked mm-hmm. out. It was I, I was just one of those moments <laughs> I blacked out. I, don't even know. Mm-hmm. I was, didn't even know what I was doing. Yeah. Uh, so you just like but was you like can you just take me through that moment though like you just like hype or something oh uh, i was for sure hype you know mm. um shit <laughs> you don't want to talk what about happened? it <laughs> it's like yeah Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, like it, it was just like you know, I, I had, a, I had a good feeling I was gonna dunk on someone that game. 
I think I docked on like a six eleven import oh, built wow. like a week before a week before going into it. So I had a good feeling I was going to dunk on someone. It happened to be thirty. I noticed it was thirty, and I guess I just had to point at them, do yeah. something crazy, and just yeah. yeah. That was really cool. Though. City man. Yeah. yeah. And before you got drafted to the PBA, uh, I saw you. You were at Impact Basketball in Vegas. Um, how mm-hmm. how 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 was your time in Impact? Helped you transition to the pro game? Oh, it, it it's been dope, man. Like mm-hmm. you go in there, you just get the whole pro atmosphere. You're in there with a bunch of NBA dudes, and then of course you know the NBA season starts. You start seeing the guys you were in the gym yeah. with getting buckets. So that just motivates you to go out there and go crazy and on top of that man it's just like it was it was dope man you go in there shoot nothing but nba threes and like so i mean it, it definitely helps with development i plan on going back to shout out to impact and yeah, since you're in the pba now did you have any pba welcome moment yet welcome to the pba moment yet <laughs> for sure for sure for sure <laughs> i'll probably say hmm. I'll probably say my biggest one. Um, mm. Probably Vic Manuel. Okay. Chop, chop Vic. me out. Chop me. <laughs> chop me out the air. I promise you. I promise you. I, I think I missed. I was so fucked up my leg. I couldn't move my leg for like three days. Oh wow. Vic is a strong and dude though. He's a strong dude. <laughs> man. I ain't get pretty. I ain't get. I ain't get nowhere after you chopped me with that one. But oh damn. Yeah, man. I felt that one the, the next day for sure. Okay, and I I know people has been looking at your highlights probably like this past few months, and I was just wondering, man, how was your coach reaction? I mean, you did an off the bounce alley oop to yourself <laughs> in the second quarter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's out there. Yeah. Um. Well, luckily, I I didn't have my my actual head coach there. He had COVID, oh, okay. so that's probably that's probably why a lot of that shit happened. <laughs> <laughs> But I mean, yeah, man. I, I guess you can't get mad if I make the yeah, shot. So, but how much fun are you, are you having though right now? You know, in the PBA. Oh shit, your video gone. <laughs> But you back? My bad. Uh, it's all good. Uh, Just how much fun are you having right now? You know, dunking and then you're playing, living your dreams in the PBA. Yeah, man, I'm having a lot of fun, you know, uh, just being able to play every day is a blessing, especially during the hard times and shit. So, mm-hmm. you know, just going out there, doing doing what I'm able to do, having fun with it, competing again, finally, it, it's just, it's, it's been dope. Did you ever see yourself playing the PBA before? <sighs> honestly, <clears throat> honestly, I always thought about it. Mm-hmm. I didn't think it would, I, I didn't think I'll actually do it mm-hmm. but I always thought about it and and, yeah. and honestly ever since I've been here I, I've been like I absolutely love it so like I mean like I'll take nothing back yeah man basketball <laughs> in the Philippines is a religion and the fans the fans is crazy because right. I got I got a lot of friends that play for the other team and we when, yeah. we when we walk in the mall it's crazy like people the yeah. first stop them to take pictures to take uh ask for autograph so how is that experience for you though so far man it is dope like mm. you you really feel like you're playing for like the people you know you're representing mm. the country well you know and yeah just stuff like that means way more than you know going out mm. some, some random place in europe to me and just yeah. like Nobody really knows like who you are, what you do. You know, you you go out here to the Philippines. Everybody shows love. You're playing for the people. You're playing for family members. You know that. I uh, just it's like an experience you never thought would actually happen for real. Yeah, and from what I know, I think you idolize Gabe Norwood. Like, uh, what sure. do you like the most about his game? Man, I see a lot of similarities between mm-hmm. me and him. You know. He uh he's he's an OG. He's he's done them <laughs> he the is. whole yard, you know, and he's still out here getting buckets, still out here grinding, still out here dunking on fools, still out here hooping, <laughs> you know. So shout out to Gabe, you know. I for sure idolized the ones before me. Man, Gabe is a cool dude for sure, man. And um 
Jamie, you played for the Mighty Sports before. I mean, playing for Mighty Sports is somewhat like you representing the country, you representing mm-hmm. the Philippines. How was how was the experience? You know, just playing for the people of the Philippines. Man, it was dope. You know, that that was one of my best, one of my favorite experiences I've ever had out here. You know, just uh. Being able to represent the Philippines, knowing that everybody back home is watching mm-hmm. and you're playing on an international level, yes. just like a super, super fire experience. I wish I could play for like Gilas one day, but we'll see. Someone asked me if you uh, could possibly play in the SEA Games because SEA Games, I think the rules is kind of yeah, yeah. more soft than the FIBA. So is, is it a mm-hmm. possibility to do that? Possibility for sure. Yeah. Possibility for sure. Oh, that's good then. Uh, hopefully, you're gonna play in the Sea Games, man. That's my hope. And um, right, your... hopefully, yeah. Did you get coached by Charles too when you play for Mighty Sports? Oh yeah, that's my guy. Oh, yeah, Love Charles, <laughs> man, Charles, man. <laughs> That's an Ateneo guy, though. Charles, oh, my God. <laughs> that's an Ateneo guy. I didn't know that. Ateneo. He he don't he don't act like it. That's why. Yeah, that's why I didn't know it. His brother is a big Ateneo star back in the day, Chris. So ah, uh, really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, Charles is a very cool guy too. So that's about the Philippine basketball. Let's talk about NBA. Who's your team in the NBA? Lakers all day, every day. Oh like my Kobe. God, we got a Laker fans in the building. Yeah, man, I'm allowed to. You know, we got the the Seattle SuperSonics Rob from us. I know. I was a big Ray, Ray Allen, Rashard Lewis, Luke, Luke, all Luke them Rinaldi. guys, man. Wow, Luke, Luke Rinaldi. Rinaldi. Wow, that's that was crazy. one of my favorite favorite teams, man. But I know. You know, I, I had to go. I had to go with Kobe. I was a big Kobe fan, so I used to watch a lot of their games. I'm I'm hoping uh, someone gonna get a new team in Seattle, man. You know, because I'm planning to move out here, so we could get a team out here. That will be good. <laughs> Hey man, if they get a team eventually one day, we we could go watch a game together. For yeah, sure. that, that that's for sure, man. And just looking at the Lakers roster right now, <laughs> like they got they got everybody, they got everybody. Uh, they got Rajon Rondo, they got Russell Westbrook now, Dwight Howard. Just how excited are you to watch them play next season? Man, I'm real excited. I know they're gonna do some damage. I know they got a lot of haters. <laughs> and I, I'm I'm one uh, of them. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> you, 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 you could go like like the Nets. Like <laughs> I, don't the Nets like, I don't like I don't like I don't like the super team. <laughs> yeah. Who's your team? Who's your team? Who's your team? Oh, you will be surprised. You will be surprised. The Clippers. Don't say it. Oh. <laughs> uh, I've been the I've been, I've been a Clipper fan since Darius Miles and Quentin Richardson. Okay, so you was, okay? Yeah, that was, that was a long really time good. ago. Yeah, that was a long time ago. I've, I've been a fan since two thousand three. God damn! Yeah, I know, man. And we we lost Kawhi too. We don't have Kawhi what now. Did... Oh, Kawhi! Kawhi is hurt. Kawhi is. Hurt. Oh, is he? Yeah, ACL. Uh, so we don't have. Damn. Kawhi. Yeah, we don't have Kawhi the next. How come I didn't hear about this? It was in the playoff. It was in the playoff last against the. Oh. Against the Suns, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, uh, that injury. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um. So you probably were a fan since like Elton Brand and them boys. Yeah, Corey Maggetti, and oh, one of geez. my and one of my good friend Bobby Simmons. He played for played for too. So really, you, you know Bobby Simmons. Yeah, uh, we just okay. we just we, we just hung out in uh, Vegas a couple uh, last oh. month. Getting yeah, to he, it. I see you, my boy. <laughs> you know Bobby Simmons. <laughs> No, 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 no. I, I know him as a player. I know, no, no, but that, but not a lot of, not a lot of people, not a lot of NBA fans like notice him though, you know, because he was uh, he was like really good with the Clippers, but that's it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. But Lakers though against the Nets. <laughs> What about that? Yeah, man? man, I'm excited for that game. I want to see that. I want to see that. I don't know. Everybody wants to see that. For sure. Are you Lakers are you a LeBron? It, are you a LeBron fans though? I'm not a LeBron fan. I'm a Lakers fan. Okay. So, who's your favorite player? I, I, now? I promise you, my favorite games to watch were even like the, when they when they sucked, bro. I would love just watching them when they sucked. But they'll always go and beat the Warriors. I just loved. I loved it. I don't know why. Oh, oh this is like when Smush Parker was there. 
this is when like D loading and Russ, uh, oh. Julius Randle, and like, oh, okay, you know, that time when they yeah. fell off after yeah. Kobe, I was still a Laker fan, so that's good though. You're loyal, bro. I'm loyal, bro. That was great again. <laughs> but what do you think though about the Bucks uh, winning the championship? Do you do you feel like Giannis deserve it and uh, and the Milwaukee city, city of Milwaukee? What do you think? Giannis is loyal. He deserved it. You know, he put in the work. Mm. He, he was out there hitting 50 points a game. So yeah, that's crazy. Can't really complain. I wish the Suns won it though. Ah, uh, you like that's CP3? I wanted to see. Yeah, I wanted to see CP3 win one. Yeah, Feel like that was his chance, you know. Yeah, but hopefully we will get another chance though. But I don't know when. <laughs> hopefully Booker. Hopefully Booker gonna be right. crazy next season. And before I let you go, I know you're a big shoe guy. What's your favorite shoe yeah, right yeah. now? Favorite shoes. You got it. Hooping next in season. or hooping, hooping, hooping. I, I like the Grinches. Those you were like what? my all time like. The the uh, I'll grab them. Okay, let me see. <laughs> These joints. These are like were like my favorite shoe. I couldn't ah, get. Ah, Kobe, Kobe six. Oh, that's Kobe six, right? <laughs> yeah, Kobe Grinch. sixes. I couldn't get yeah. them as a kid. I ah, really, 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 really always wanted them. Oh, so man. of course they came out again. I was able to get those. I heard it's so, super yeah. comfortable though. Wear these today in the game. Oh, Kobe five, Bruce Lee. Yes, sir. Oh my God, you yeah, you are a big Kobe fan. Any favorite Kobe moments? Um, probably his eighty-one point. Okay, I'll say that. I'll say that. I really like that Phoenix team with Steve Nash and them, and that little that buzzer beater over yeah, yeah. the mid range. That was one of my all-time favorite moments. Of the Hold on, is that over Roger Bell? I think it's over Roger Bell. Roger Bell, yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah, that game. It was over, like yeah. That was that was ridiculous, and that was like a real game winner. You know, it wasn't like a running. He had like one running off the foot. Mm. That was like a solid like attack them, get them on their heels type <laughs> of shot. Yeah, that was shot. a great series too. Yeah. Did you have any great moment beating the buzzer game winning winning shot? Do you have any? I had I had I had one in high school. Yeah, high school. Which high school yeah, did you go it to? Was like. I went to O'Day. It's the Paulo Banchero. Paulo Banchero, the future number one NBA pick. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's where he that's where he goes. And then yeah. uh, I think he's related to Chris Banchero in the PBA as well. That's why he told me, uh, Chris. Chris actually hit me up after I took a picture with uh, Paulo. He was like, "That's my cousin." Yeah. I'm like, "Chris, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've known I've known Chris for a while though because he used to play in the because I used to work in the ABL." I used to work in the AB, uh -huh. so I met Chris mm -hmm. when he was playing for San Miguel, Beerman. So small okay. world, man. Basketball is a small world. Small world, man. And, small uh, world for sure. So I'm gonna let you rest after this. Thank you so much, though, Jamie, for joining me, man. Thank you so much for appreciate doing you, Rocky. This. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me, man. Yes, sir. And we never met before, and he was so cool nope. to reply on my DM. So really appreciate that. Of course, Everybody, man. Please, yeah. Everybody, please support. Jamie Malonzo, Rookie of the Year. Uh, <laughs> hopefully, hopefully. Let's see. And into that, I'm calling it right now. And, of course, support North Fort Button Pierre in the PBA always. And, yeah, man, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this interview. And we're going to see you guys again very soon. Peace out. Peace. <laughs>